In this lesson, we'll create a second setup in Fusion 360. After completing this lesson, you'll be able to create a second milling setup and modify a setup name and position in the browser. Let's carry on with the file from our previous example, and if you had any difficulties, you can upload the supplied file, Multi-Axis Multiple Setups, version 9. From here, we have our SoftJaw Setup 1. Now we need to create our SoftJaw Setup 2. There are some things that we should consider here, and we've already talked about this in previous lessons where we create stock based on a solid body. So what we can do is we can go back into our design workspace. We can create the starting point stock from a solid body if we need to. However, the soft jaw is a fairly simple part, so I'm not too worried about knowing exactly how the slots and the holes were cut in the bottom of the part, because again, the geometry is fairly simple. If we were dealing with a more complex part, we might want to export that as an STL, or we might want to just create a solid body in the design workspace that we can utilize in our new setup. From here, however, we're going to create a new setup. Again, it's going to be milling. We're going to change the coordinate system based on the z-axis. We want the z-axis to be pointing up, and I'm going to flip the x-axis and change the box point location to the upper left-hand corner. I'm going to change my stock so that there's no offset on the top or the sides. And I'm going to set my program up as 10,002. And this is going to be my soft jaw setup too. With this created, I also want to make sure that I rename the setup. And again, we can drag and drop this. So I'm going to minimize soft jaw setup one. Drag and drop soft jaw setup 2 to just below it to help organize my browser. Let's again right click and edit soft jaw setup 2 and just make sure we reiterate the fact that we can select a model to focus on, which in this case we're focusing just on this body that's on the screen. And we can also set up stock based on a solid model. So using these options can help us identify the starting point, in this case, the part that's already been machined from the backside. But because, again, it is simple geometry, we're not going to worry about it in this case. We're just going to use our basic milling setup for soft jaw setup too. Once you've created your secondary setup, let's go ahead and save the file before we move on to the next step.